Well, Gaffer, the longer that went on, the more you looked at like scoring and you ended up getting two and getting the win. Yeah, I mean, in, in some funny way, I'm glad they scored because it seemed to really kick us on. I, I felt that the game was there to be won and we just needed to up it and maybe have just a, a little bit more belief. I think the players were not sure whether to stick or twist and I was getting a little bit frustrated. I just felt the game was there to be won if we just upped the tempo and played quicker and a bit braver. But of course, you know, we lose a sloppy goal, I've just seen it back, the, the, you know, the header is, is poor and it's a poor goal to lose. Um, and then H, Wardy crosses H, finishes. And then at that point you're thinking, go on and win the game, we're running all over them. The fitness looked good. We were get Wardy was killing them down the side and he got another cross in and Sariki got his really, really good finish. Yeah. First off, not a lot happened in terms of action in front of goal, but you've stayed in the game and that's ultimately when you've had a couple of bad defeats, that's what you needed to do at the start. Yeah, I thought the shape was very good, I thought we were solid, we knew that how Derby played, we went through it obviously all week in terms of the positions the midfield players took, false fullbacks, but the players stuck to the game plan. I just felt again when we had opportunities we didn't take them, there was one for Jack. There was a couple where we just, you know, could have done better. And it wasn't a case of staying in the game, it was a case of we had to have a good shape about us. I thought the three midfielders did well for us. Ollie had a great debut for us, I have to say, in there with George, very good. But they didn't cause us any problems at all. Um, and I thought we dealt with them very well. Back five moved as we wanted. Butler and Bees were very good on that side, getting aggressive. And as you said at half time, look, you know, if you had any doubts before the game, you've got to take a lot of belief out of that. We've got to go on and win this. I, I did say to them, we need to go and win the game. But of course, when you're 1-0 down in, in injury time, and I, and I also said to Matty, Matty Everton, I said, look, this, the injury time is going to play a big part today. If you're losing, it'll lift the fans when it comes up. If you're winning, it might lift their fans. So I've been in that before when I've had 11, 12 minutes and come out the wrong side of it when I've been away from home. So today I felt the, the 11 minutes would help us. I know you won't take the credit because you were chasing the game, but you've made the change in bringing Harrison on for Beeves in terms of giving you a bit more balance going forward down that left-hand side and it paid, paid dividends. Yeah, I've done that before. I think I did it against Wigan last year and, and actually Harrison set up the goal for Jono. So they, 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 I had to chase it and, you know, we're losing. I, I, I don't, you know, uh, I felt Harrison being higher, Butler, would, the, the, the Kazim Richards had gone off. They, they didn't have to worry too much about their physicality. And I wanted Butler to join in and I swapped Tomo and Frankie over and I wanted Tomo to join in with, with Wardy and almost play 1v1 at the back at times. As it transpired, H is in a fantastic position from the cross and then he's, he's heavily involved in the second goal as well. So, and Dems, I always knew we'd get on after an hour, Jack would only do an hour. And I have to say, it's a result, and I know last week wasn't a great result in the, or a performance. I've got players that are nowhere near, 100%, and I mean nowhere near. My two strikers are miles away, fitness-wise, because they just started the minutes. So I'm playing with two strikers there thinking I'm hoping to get through the game. Thankfully, jono has got through it again, but he, he shouldn't be playing that. But I've got no, no choice here. You know, if young Ricky's out for 12 weeks. I've got Dembele that's had one training session. Jack Taylor's out. I've got a lot of problems here in terms of numbers to key players in my team. So I think the players take an enormous amount of credit for getting a result today. Yeah, the big thing with people seeing players out there, but obviously putting them on the pitch is rather like putting me on the pitch. If they've got their minutes under the belt or they've had no training sessions, then match fitness is not there, is it? Yeah, I've said before the game, and I really feel that we need to get as many points as we can for the end of the month. And we need to have a clean bill of health to give us the best opportunity of winning games. When I mean by that, I mean everyone fit. And at the moment, we're just nowhere near that. So, but what will happen from today is one of your players would like to think and get belief. jono has got another 90, Jack's got 60, Dems has got 30, well, possibly 30 more. And, and, and I've shown I've got a, a, a good players coming off the bench because Harrison was magnificent when he came on. Yeah, and you mentioned Nolly Norman's debut. He's got 90 minutes saved, played 45 in midweek, been away at the Gold Cup during the summer, so he's had a bit of minutes, but not too much pre-season most years. But you can see his quality, but also his, his work ethic, his endeavour to nah, get to the end. He's, he's a good player. I'm, that's why I try to get him so, for two years. I've, I'm so thankful I've got him. He's nasty. He's, he's a leader. He wants to tackle. You have to keep the reins on him a little bit because he can go over the top. He keeps it safe. He, he's very good on the ball, simple. I thought him and George were very good. Um, so I'm delighted with him. He was running on empty towards the end, but he just said, I had no choice, I'd made my subs. I just wanted him to sit in the middle of the park, and I've got 90 on with his physicality. So, no, credit to my players because, you know, Football's so fickle, one minute you're 
the best thing since sliced bread, the next minute you're absolutely rubbish and never going to score a goal and get relegated. So, uh, as a manager, I have to look beyond that and I have to trust my players. And on Thursday, we had a good meeting about trying to make sure we kept the confidence. Don't get me wrong, the two performances prior to today have no one near our level. But when we get to the standards we set, we will compete. Sammy Swadich, not involved in squad, obviously, yeah. is, is Mrs. Another Eddie Bell. one, sorry, I um, mentioned Sammy. Yeah, earlier on in the week. And, and, and was that an easy decision not to have him involved today? I mean, obviously, he's, he's been back and forth to Essex, hasn't he? Well, the situation with Sammy is his, his, his fiancée was due last Sunday. Obviously, didn't have the baby. Then on Tuesday, you know, I think they were start thinking about getting the baby delivered. But she actually didn't deliver the baby until 6.20 on Thursday morning. So I got a text off Sammy early Thursdays, like, what's going on? Obviously, he'd been up all night, so I couldn't get him. So from the, the, from the Luton game, he's only training once. And then I had to think about how emotional the week was for him. And it, it was a simple decision because it was the right one in terms of he, again, couldn't go and play in a game of that magnitude when he hadn't trained. So, but Joel did well. I mean, he's just a kid and he picks up good positions. He knows he's got to move it quicker because he's at a different level, but I thought he uh, equipped himself very well. And just finally, you're right, a man today, Matthew Edrington, it's his 40th birthday today. Yes. Um, he was desperate to get home every meal and you're giving him 11 minutes of stoppage time and uh, probably jumped on it at the end. Yeah, I didn't know until later. I did jump on him a couple of times and, and, and actually the second time I did, I could flash back to Fleetwood from last season. Uh, yeah, Matty's obviously, you know, Mark Robson's got, had a bereavement. We also, obviously all feel for Mark. I've given him some time off, which he needed. He'll be back on Monday though, but Matty's a, a, a big part of what we're doing and a big part of my staff. And, uh, you know, it's happy 40th to him and I'll get my nice bottle of red on, on Monday. Didn't know it was his 40th today. <laughs>